Hello, everybody on the stream out there in the world of quarantine. This is Bratz, one of your wonderful hosts. This is the Gear Swap Podcast. It is April 1st. We've got a full cast for you today. Hello, hosts. How are you? Hello. I'm good. Hi, I'm low-key a little great. tired, but like, I'm good. <laughs> We're surviving. I'm here. Yes, we are all here. Happy April 1st. There's no jokes because we're not living in a fun time right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I kind of forgot that it was April for, like April Fool's Day. Literally, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I really, like, I don't celebrate that holiday, though, so. Really? It's usually one of my favorites. It's not, it's not a part of my religion. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, all my right. God. Not a part of my religion. <laughs> so a quick rundown thank you for that twitch prime sub look at that reminder oh, if you are watching whoa. and you are not subscribed to our channel go ahead hit that oh, twitch prime sub jeff bezos God. gives it to you for free and we would love to take his money so go ahead and give it to us um so we got a quick show today kind of uh we're not going to be going over all the topics because effectively everybody is closed uh, not effectively. Everybody's closed. <laughs> <sighs> the entire world is shut down right now. But we're still here. And we're going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a fun show tonight. So Yay. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. And then we are, we're we're going to jump right into it. So we are going to be doing our intros as always. I'm going to count up here so you can see. Our intros as always. We are going to have a special guest on. Uh, we have uh, Vic from Bullseye Laser Tag out in New Jersey. He's going to come and talk about his location and what they do out there. We are going to go over Jailbreak. That's our field discussion for this week, our game discussion. And then we're also going to play Jackbox Quiplash with everybody. So Yay. Quiplash coming up after everything. So stick around. It's going to be fun. It sounds like so much fun. Yeah. You're going to get All everyone involved. Yes. Anybody can oh, play yeah. up until our max capacity and then everybody else. I do have uh, Twitch chat participation on too, so that'll be fun. Um, how was everyone's week? Who wants to go first? Birdie, you go first. Sorry. I'm like kind of paying attention to like what it says my video connection is and also like what I look like on stream and also here because my computer's like freaking the fuck out. So I'm lagging for no reason and like things are going on. I might like quit out of this unexpectedly. So like sorry in advance, <laughs> but I'm good <laughs> trying to be. This problem's kind of messing with me, but I'm I'm good. You know, things are things are okay. Quarantine is um a time yeah but uh, it's a fun time i have like the best roommate to be quarantined with so it's it's all good awesome that's great christian oh man my week um so i found out something and a bunch of games on ps4 xbox all that are on sale to help you know pass by the time of the of the quarantine, so I just bought Dying Light. I don't know if anyone else has ever heard of that game, but Dying Light. It's a really great so. game so far. I, it I have heard of that one, yeah, but I don't know what it is. I've yeah, heard of it, though. It's a post-apocalyptic game. Uh, there's a, It's like zombies, basically, but the zombies are so overpowered, they're really hard to fight, so... Oh wow! The way you get—it's mainly for you to maneuver around them with parkour and okay. everything. So you could see me running on the roof of buildings and everything. I just did my first stream of Dying Light yesterday. Hardcore oh, cool. parkour, hardcore yeah. parkour. Yeah, uh, hardcore parkour. Screen. Episode two tomorrow. <laughs> Love that. Okay, cool. Well, my week is the same as every week. Um, my life strangely didn't change much still i'm still going to work every day i am still coming here and playing video games every day i did win a game of call of duty today and yesterday so that was pretty cool yeah i got my warzone. first christian i got my first solo victory in warzone oh your first solo got my first solo victory i may have given my my roommate a heart attack <laughs> <Your> <laughs> <roommate>. <laughs> So that was pretty fun. 
Um, sure. But yeah, other than that, I've just been doing the doing the whole shtick of going to work, coming home, staying here on the internet, trying to entertain the peoples. Um, I do, before we go on to the next step, I want to kind of give an update on some stream changes that have happened. I didn't tell Birdie because she was trying to connect, but I told Christian. So we have hit the five emote unlock. So thank you guys so much. We freaking appreciate that more than you guys can ever imagine. Unfortunately, the next emote for that is way off in the distance. So that's no longer our main focus, at least my main focus for the channel. Um, you'll see down in the middle bottom of the screen underneath my name, it has a viewer account under there. Our next big goal for the channel, and we've only been doing this for two months now, and this is pretty wild that we're even close, and then we're not close to it, but we're on the route of getting this, is I want to really push to get Twitch partnership status, or at least be able mm. to apply for it. We've mm. already finished two of the three achievements which is days streamed and hours streamed. So we're covering those metrics easily. The last one is going to be difficult and we need everybody to help out. The, the last one is to have an average of 75 concurrent viewers. Right. <laughs> oh. It can happen. It, Hopefully. It can happen. It can Maybe easily 75 happen. 75 people want to listen to us. <laughs> like, we need to spread it... like the COVID. <laughs> No. Is it too <laughs> soon for that joke? I would, I would like to not kill people. Thank yeah. you. But like a gentle COVID. Yeah. Sure. A like, gentle caress. Like, like when you're like, like when you're playing Plague, um, Plague Inc. or whatever, and you, you make a disease that spreads everywhere but doesn't actually kill anybody. That's oh, what we're sure, going sure, for. Sure. All right, love that. So we're gonna be if, we're gonna be aggressively trying to promote and spread and get more people on here watching. Um, Perfect. and it all starts with you people in the chat helping us out because as soon as this place opens up again, you guys got prizes coming your way. So this is true. This is true. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Christian Chris just got just a got food dinner. delivery. <laughs> nice. I want that. Love all right. That. So that is it from us. If you guys have anything to say in the chat, go ahead and toss it in the chat. We will see that there. What we're going to start out with today is we're going to talk to our friend Vic up in New Jersey, the epicenter of all of the ick right now. So I'm going to call him up into the chat. All right, and then just once... as a forewarning, this may be the demise of my call. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope not because I set this up for four people. <laughs> you know, fingers crossed. Might if, just you need my to, Discord if you need to turn your video off and just do audio, you can do that. That's fine. Yeah, that's true. All right. We're calling up Vic here. Ring him up. I just want to say, while we call him, 75 oh, average him. view. Absolutely. Absolutely. Vic, welcome to the podcast. Welcome, everybody in the chat and out there in the world. This is Vic. Vic is the owner of Bullseye. Is it Bullseye Laser Tag or what's the full name of the company? Okay. The, oh god hold on guys hold on hold on hold on hold on i broke the audio i broke it i broke it hold on hold on guys don't pa panic in the chat panic in the chat it's live hold on oh i hit the wrong button hold on we're still breaking it oh god there's only so much i can do this is why it's a headset that's the one we want why is it not? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Properties. Chat. Oh, I was going to say, I just, my brother right. just came through with my McDonald's Woo. delivery. So like... All right. They can hear you guys now. Let Excellent. me start over. Vic, welcome to the podcast. How are you? How's it going, guys? Vic is the owner of Bullseye Laser Tag in New Jersey, which you can now see photographs scrolling on your screen of. Uh, contact info is in the bottom left, icons in the top right, and then he sent us over these beautiful pictures of their field. So we're just going to do a quick, uh, quick interview. So what is it like having Laser Tag in New Jersey? Uh, it's hard to get past the idea that we're not space-themed, that it's not in the dark, <laughs> that it's not for four-year-olds. It's tricky mm. to tell everyone what we actually do, which is tactical laser tag. 
Right. Yeah. I, I feel like it's the same here. Do you guys have laser quests <clears throat> out by you? Uh, no, we have a lot of uh, uh, the Family Entertainment Center. So like your okay. classic They don't anymore. Park. Well, yeah. yeah <laughs> but no, nah, your classic uh, laser tag, like mini golf, little kid places, things like that. Okay. Yeah, we have we have a bra- uh, a branch called Laser Quest that actually just closed in Illinois. <laughs> they beat the COVID. They were thinking ahead. Well, Look at them. Um, <laughs> they knew something we did. But they were the same deal where it was very space, very young based, very free for all, shoot everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you guys have been around for four months in your new location. Yeah, th- we did four months. We started November sixteenth. Um, we signed the lease November 1st and opened like two weeks later. Okay. And, wow. That's uh, amazing. Started, actually. Yeah. It, it, what we did was crazy. The location was wild. It was an old, um, design studio. So mm-hmm. if you wanted to oh, put a normal cool. business in there, you'd have to knock tons of walls down. It was this huge 13,000 square foot building. Mm-hmm. And my wife and I saw it and we were like, Ooh, what if we could do this without changing anything? And the, the landlord said, sure. I mean, you're not going to pull it off, but go for it. And I just, <laughs> just, we put all our stuff in there, a couple of sleepless nights and just opened and went nuts. And we were selling out like month two. It was quite, it was crazy. Oh, that's wild. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's great. That Love is that. wild. Yeah. I was looking at some of the pictures from your field and that's the vibe I got. I'm like, that just looks like an office hallway. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's like a, it's like a Home Depot, basically. Oh, sweet! It, it's like a design, you know, like tiles and rugs, and there's offices. So we actually broke through all these walls and connected all these offices. So you can go through these, all these really cool tight spots, a couple deep shots, a couple really cool areas to to fight in. Very cool. cool. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. I see in the background we have an animal on stream again. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be nicely freshly made bed, and that dog just jumped there. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. the best kind of bed to sleep in for you know, humans and animals. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. So, um, a Michigan actually has a very similar setup. It sounds like then to you because their field is an old uh, Circuit City, I believe. That really? Yeah. It was a. It was old, abandoned. It just never filled up because the the square footage is too much for a for a local shop to take over. So it, I think they took over like an old Circuit City or something like that, and then so they have a giant floor space. And you can yeah, tell think, just by the floor, it's that real generic square pattern floor. That's how it like that gave it away there. to me. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're what the the Alpha group. Uh, or the Alpha? they're the Red Dawn. That's the field name. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I have only Red been Dawn. to. Uh, I've only been to um, Die Combat. I think I when I started four years ago. So in uh, Waukesha. Oh sure, mm-hmm. yeah. So they're, uh-huh. I, I guess their first one. I took a look through there. I was amazed. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do that right out the gate, but we started on a farm with like 15 sheets of plywood and 10 guns. Yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Still, that's awesome. Everyone starts somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It was. It's come a long way for sure. Absolutely. How is it? How is the system outdoors? How does it work? Is it good? As an operator, it's it's tough. The equipment's hard to um you know dirt, dust, heat light snow wet it's difficult the okay. equipment rocks though it's it 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 performed in pouring rain it performed actually the worst is when it's really really hot because of the co2 because we always mm. had oh that's uh, right you guys got m4s. the m4s yeah um but they shot you know my last field was 200 by 200 feet mm. you know it was huge and it, it would hit noon super sunny we could hit on a dot at the length of the field wow um, i yeah, wish i knew so, how that felt yeah, it's uh... <laughs> when you can't even do that indoor. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that pains me. So do you, um, so you have the M4s, the uh, the vest that you guys use. Do you have the old the Gen two vests, or do you have the Gen three vests? We actually are a headband only facility. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it, so I made a decision when I first started. It was mostly because of uh because of money i just didn't have enough money to buy the the vest Mm -hmm. um and actually what it was was um if think about how you should hold a a rifle you shoulder your weapon every time you reach out for a shot in in reality the only thing you expose is your own headband so um we just there's no blind firing anyway but you could protect your vest really well so we just stuck with headshots and it's been a hit since and as soon as you if you think about holding a gun every time you hold it yeah You'll realize, oh wow! Actually, the only thing I do is my own head. You know, yeah. so um, 
but it mostly was a money decision. It just was tough, but we've stuck with it and we're going to probably never buy vests. We'll always do headshots only. Yeah. If it works, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah that's really cool. Super different. It's definitely like, it makes your location stand out then. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of like a very unique thing to not have the vest, but be like, have a very specific reason for yep. it. Like outside of not being able to afford it initially, you know, sometimes yeah. things just work out that where you find like a niche that works. For yeah. Yeah. And, and personally, it plays well. I mean, we've never had a, a complaint over the years of, of it not playing well. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. So it's really uh, cool. Sean, Sean in the chat, he just said we stand sideways to, to not expose our sensors, which is 100 percent true. Like, yeah, we, I mean, uh -huh. and that's like a laser quest thing for a lot of people who yeah. play laser quest. Those that. things you just turn sideways like yep. this and shoot. Yep. You know, you got nothing on the front or back. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's wild. Um uh well, before we went on you mentioned you do you have a, a league that just ended before everything got locked down or just started yeah we we know we finally had enough new players a com really competitive players where I, I finally put on a really good league um nice. we actually it was considered a two a tag team so it was two man teams but we mm -hmm. would form larger teams and the points that you accrued as your two man team or what went towards the total and okay. it was a best three out of four weeks super i played as a a, um, a sub once mm -hmm. and uh, i'm middle of the road kind of player but it was easily the most fun sessions i've ever played in four years it was super intense wow nice. yeah and yeah. so it's like a That's special awesome. session then that they have to play in where everyone's yeah we okay we did on a thursday night that was our slow night um they all want to do sunday nights when we open back up i had um i made friends we're next door to one of the bigger bars in the area so they gave us a whole bunch of prizes i'm friends with a couple of video game store owners so we had um tickets for there um a couple extra prizes t-shirts a whole bunch of cool stuff that's awesome that's amazing all right yeah, yeah. It went, it hey, went Bird. Well. hey birdie we're 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 gonna go to new jersey when we can travel again hey i'm down <laughs> <laughs> i just i want to go to all the locations there's like checklist you yeah know? It's, I was I, super excited when I actually got my badge for um for the eye combat for mm -hmm. the tour. The, I think it's I forget what. Oh, it's the called. campaign. The campaign. Yeah, we when I got on there, I bugged them for two years straight. They put it on there. I was so excited. <laughs> That's nice. awesome. That's wild. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have any other any other direct questions. Do you guys do you have any questions for us? Like being part of like the corporate structure down here. Like I don't know. Like. I don't know if there's anything really that runs differently. Are there any games you guys can or can't play or? No. So I am a licensed field. So I'm ranked just like you guys feel, right. but I'm not a, I'm not a corporate field. So I kind of get to do whatever I want. Um, so I run a lot of custom missions. Um, I was telling you guys sheepishly that I did Fortnite events. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were catered to a younger crowd. Of in our outdoor field. No, that's great. Sure. I mean, we, you know, you have to do what you got to do. Yeah. Right. Um, no, absolutely. But I, we just uh, right before we closed, we were running uh, gunfight, um, so really fast two on two games because uh, we're going to be doing a couple of festivals out here, um, and sometimes there's you know four people that show up that want to play, mm -hmm. so we do custom mm -hmm. games. Um, we do two on two on twos, so we play a lot of domination um, and two on two on two free uh, free for oh two on mm -hmm. two on two free for alls. Okay, if that's a I don't yeah know. close um, enough. Yeah, it makes sense. Just like yeah, duos do. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, duos, but it's two on two on two in on one field. Um, okay. We do medic games, um, but not the not the eye combat medic game. I um, want medic. That game's so much fun. <laughs> it doesn't work with our equipment though. He's like, it, no. So it's not. It's not. The equipment. <laughs> I, I've written emails to the tech department. So what yeah. ends up happening in medic is, if you respawn in thirty seconds, but you've been locked in a location, everybody ends up ending up in one certain part of the map and right. you just fight as you respawn mm -hmm. so what we do for our medic game is we um it, our medic can move full speed and then when you die as a non-medic you slow walk back to the respawn but you oh, can okay. be respawned in field so what the medic ends up doing is if you've ever played any of the call of duties is it's their tactical insertion mm -hmm. so if you can position your your medic up front you never have to slow walk all the way back to your respawn you're going to oh you just have to get to the medic way so uh, your goal okay. is to keep that medic alive in a forward position, but your goal is to knock out the other medic and knock out their respawner, basically. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it ends up being. Cool. Yeah, and I then like um, my employees, we 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 all we we live and breathe like 
talking laser tag and games so that we've got a couple new custom games in the pipeline when we open back up that we're excited about that's okay. awesome yep. that's amazing that's really fun see now i like the flexibility that that gives you because you get to keep it fresh for everybody because i know yeah. i think all of us here at one point have worked at icon but yeah i knew i do know we all have and oh, wow. it just gets okay. boring sometimes like you do the same thing all the time yeah with the um with our field in that <clears throat> spot i'd say it went from like a hundred percent brand new players to like 95 percent mm-hmm. tonight and then all of a sudden we'd have nights where everybody who was there in that session has been there before I was like, okay, cool. Now we can start switching up the, the games. We can play the tougher games. Right. We can really start to work our our game rotation in. And mm-hmm. um, but it can get boring as the employees. And I, you know, you play the same game rotation six sessions in a row because every single player was brand new. It can be tricky. Right. Well, I think the other thing is too is that like the the system really lends itself to like you know you have all these like formats for games that like you can change and make so different so easily with just like changing like a couple things around to like make it a new experience. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's very inviting in that way to like want to switch it up and like want to create new like game plays and new styles of play. Like there's so much that you can do with their system. So it's really right. like, why wouldn't you? want to experiment and kind of like step outside the box and see what kind of things you can create like within those you know already like set games because they're like great like bare bones structures for like other more complicated more interesting games yeah and um <clears throat> the the part that i love about i combat and it would lock me in for life was those games that um you're inside the game so basically there's no accidental cheating so we avoid a lot of the games where you have to the backpack games um i mean we're gonna play <laughs> them you. but the the accidental cheating so like yeah. i got you no you didn't doesn't happen because we're, we're playing laser tag but the mm-hmm. i got the box there no you didn't type deal that's why we use dominators almost exclusively for for our, our custom games because that makes okay sense, yeah you can't get it if you're dead. It's it's just not it doesn't happen. So, right. Right. so here's a, you actually just answered one of the questions that came out of the chat is like, do you have like the bell, the dom tubes, all the accessories in that? Not the bell. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, it's hard as the operator to purchase things that are one off. Sure. Um, that's one game. Um, eventually I'll get okay. there and okay. we'll do it. But dominators were a big one. We run three. Um, Mm-hmm. We may or may not have purchased another three um, <laughs> during this time off. Um, okay. We've got, and we've got wireless targets to run Hacker. Um, God, okay. I wish we would play that game. That oh, game, we, we beta tested yeah. that game. That game is fun. Mm-hmm. But they will not set it up in our field. <laughs> oh, really? We're, we're just, um, we just put our Dominator up in the ceiling uh, to oh, switch cool. up where, where you, how you, you know, you got to, go up and set it down mm-hmm. um and before we close the next thing was to set up all our wireless targets on the f- to um to to run hacker because we played it outdoors and it was intense mm-hmm. um but it the only problem with that one it's on, on the field it can be visually difficult to figure out what you're supposed to do uh as the right. player like a new player so right. we'll figure that out that's cool um since you have a lot more experience with doing the custom games i i personally have a question for you um in the custom game setup because i don't get to explore that because they don't let us play with the software um what are you allowed yeah what are you allowed to like (laughs) add to a custom game remove from a custom like can you add dom tubes and like special rules in that no so unfortunately the dom tubes are um just for dominator they're only one hit to we've actually given them extra health it would be multiple shots to to change teams but it's Mm not um the really what's difficult with iCombat versus other software is it, it's hard to customize, but you really can. So what you can really do is you can set up different um, different roles on the team. So you can give someone as a you can give someone um, a, a medic for health, a medic for respawn. You can limit their lives. You can limit their uh, respawn time. So auto respawns when we run free for alls for small groups, we can run a, an auto respawn for eight seconds or twelve seconds or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, when we get really crazy as we can do when our tournament modes it's um so we'll send like a four on four and uh they'll all be met but you only have one life but if all four of you die the game then that round is over um so you really have to play around with just different settings and different and then the one we've been working on for like a year to get it to work right is search and destroy um nice. our bomb prop 
is yeah our bomb our bomb prop is a two um a green team and a yellow team and it's a headband in a box and you have to shoot and kill the headband to arm it and okay. then the sound cue is you know ooh, 30 seconds and they count down and then you got to kill the other headband at defusing um but to get the sound cues right and it to work right and the bomb right. prop it's all, something else always comes up where i don't get to actually run it but uh that, okay. that and i've told my combat let's get a bomb going game let's let's do that we have all the tools to do it let's do it yeah that's right. awesome cool very cool christian you got any questions no nah, i like putting people on the spot great. sorry yeah you're fine <laughs> okay birdie no, I mean, I feel like you explained everything really well. I think it's really cool to hear from another location, another owner independently, and just like hearing all the cool stuff that you're doing. It's awesome. And it's just, you know, more of a catalyst to get people to come and uh, check out your location, which I definitely want. Thank you. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of fun in our location, outdoor, indoor, wherever we're at. It's, uh, I mean, it's laser tag. It's supposed to be fun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's the <clears throat> truth right there. A lot of people forget about that part. I want to try outdoor one well, at least once because I've never had, I've never tried outdoor. It's uh, yeah, it's intense. Uh, we we run uh low profile scopes, but and iron sights outside because the tube sights don't work too well. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. But the outdoor field can get a little, I mean, I loved it. That was my baby. But the outdoor field can get a little slow, especially if you're used to playing indoors. I mean, indoors, mm -hmm. I would relate them 100%. Call of Duty indoors, and it's Battlefield outdoors. It's a little mm -hmm. slower. Mm -hmm. okay. um, still intense, but you know, you can get lost on the outdoor field. It's crazy. <laughs> Sweet. So we actually have some questions in the chat that I didn't see here. So oh, I'm going to ask sure. you some of them here. Uh, first question is, do you guys have the pistols or just the M4s? Uh, I have two pistols that work and six that don't. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, okay. medic. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, we we just before we closed, we were putting uh, a full upgrade with a vest, holster, extra ammo clips for like an upgrade for customers. But we're going to start incorporating the two pistols that work, and we show them off all the time. I mean, people love them; they're, they're awesome to look at. Uh, but we'll we'll start incorporating them. They're a little more finicky than the rifles, and I always want the customer. I'm never going to have them pay for something that doesn't work 100%. Right. Okay. Uh, next question was... Uh, <laughs> you can tell this is, a, this is a real player question here. Uh, do you guys have any rules on pre-firing areas? Like, are they allowed to shoot when they come around oh, corners? Or do you have to man. see something before you shoot? The real questions? Is, <laughs> that's, a, that's a rule in other places? Yes. Like, well, <laughs> mm, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so so here's here's my take on it so you you operate on the m4s which use the co2 system so like I, I assume your system is set up where you get 150 shots and then you have to physically go reload the gun right uh two, yeah it's 250 now but yeah oh 250 okay yeah um so ah. with the with the smgs you can just keep shooting and reloading you don't never have to go back to spawn so some of the locations that are older that didn't ever have the ir smgs they would kind of frown upon shooting people before you could see them like spraying bullets so they've kind of uh, put into place rules that discourage that oh yeah i mean uh, the, you've got customers that are are not are not good customers that shoot like just to be silly and fun we we stop that real quick but as far as pre-firing i don't know if i'm if i've <clears> ever really seen that be an issue but maybe we're just not as busy as the other places but I ne we we keep everyone on single fire. That's just for gun sanity oh. at that point. Oh, okay. yeah. We, we we do allow them three round bursts for certain games, like when we trap them for Black Hawk Down. Uh, oh, the, okay, sure, yeah. For special fun games, we let people run them just because. And if they're a really good group, we'll definitely let. Them. But pre firing, yeah, that's never been an issue. Oh, okay. I guess if you okay. if you limit them to single fire, that kind of knocks that out right away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that may have been like an important detail to start yeah. with. So I would, I would say, uh, yeah, um, because I know our field, we don't have any rule about it. Um, mm -mm. Madison's field doesn't. Waukesha does because they're at the first field. So they kind of treasure having a higher, higher accuracy. Um, well, the, the thing is, there's, there's no rule for it. Literally, like the only right. it, it's not even like an enforced thing. It's like 
even in Sniper at our location, it's like, hey, you should go on single fire because, like, if you don't, you'll probably lose. Yeah. But people still go on three round bursts. So, like, yeah, and they also... it's not a rule at all at our location, which right. is like, you know, it'd be hard to enforce, I think. But we give the full rule for Sniper. Here's the rules. This is what you want to do. And every other time, three, two, one, go. And the guy runs out. Bang, 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 bang. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well yeah it's like even on sniper when you do have single fire it's you know something you have people who just like doing this <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh up in the people in michigan right now in the chat are uh they never stop pulling the trigger yeah <laughs> so that's a very big like their highest accuracy up there is probably like four <laughs> percent <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're, they're uh they're they're lighting up the chat right now with comments so okay yeah <laughs> that's cool i like that though that you limit them to single fires and that especially it, it makes sense especially for the wear and tear on the gun too yeah I, I i didn't want to but we never limit them to physical reloads um but okay. single fire and game mode in playing in general, they're really not going through enough for it to be, but three round burst you could do some work on a three round burst gun oh yeah and are your are your uh is your field one shot kill or nope, 50 it's damage to Yep, 50, the guns hit for 50. 50 um, okay. We in sniper, obviously, it's one shot. Yeah, Our handguns do one shot. Um, but they hit. <laughs> the SMGs hit for 35. Um, they or, started at 50, and then they adjusted it down to 34. <laughs> gotcha. So yeah, they're three Sorry, shot I'm kills now. Sorry, laughing at the chat. Okay. <laughs> but they always. I mean, you can always run three round burst. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, another minute for questions in the chat, and then we're gonna get going here. So the next question I see is: uh, Do you have any idea when you're expected to open up again? That's the truth of the entire world at this oh, point. Yeah. So I mean, really, everyone I've talked to, all the, the big players and big businesses around me, wait for the federal government to make a decision, and then you wait for your governor to make a decision. That's yep. that. As soon as we're able to open, we'll open. Okay. It, yeah. you know, we're in entertainment, so people want to get off and get out and go and do something fun. So as soon as we're ready and allowed to, we'll open. Sweet. All right. Well, that's good. It's good. Nice and you know, following the rules as everybody should be. Wow. <laughs> apparently, I mall, kicked so. I kicked the bees nest that is up mid Michigan right now. I'm getting ripped <laughs> in the chat, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you guys submit games comment. for the solo league and you guys have accuracies of like four and five percent, you're gonna get called out on that. It's not my fault. <laughs> I have an accuracy of twelve percent, I think. Look, Michigan is a is a very special case. You know, yeah. they have certain parameters for how they play, and that's yeah. that on that. Well, Michigan is like the speedball field. So if you're like you're watching paintball on television, that's Michigan. Yeah. Like you come out of the spawn and you're just pulling that trigger nonstop. Um, Alcatraz is like boring. It's like sniper heaven, basically. Um, really? Yeah, long hallways. There's basically three routes down the field the entire way. So it's like if you get a good spot, you just keep shooting down the hallway. There's not a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, most of our um, the, I, I design I designed all the fields. The the really big thing I've always noticed is all of our big long big sniper routes are on the corners of the field. So you've got to go mid just to get to the cross shot. Mm -hmm. I try and keep everything from the spawn out, you know, all, all this way. So you can at least get out. Um, right. Right. But it's, oh, it's always a challenge. I mean, you, you, something looks cool, but plays, it can be an issue playing. Mm -hmm. All right. Sweet. Uh, last question for you is, are you, is your location near hotels? Because people are already looking to plan trips out there. So what do you got in your oh, yeah. area? <laughs> Oh man, we're like twenty minutes from New York City. Um, oh no shit! Yeah, yeah. Great, I broke my own rule again. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it like a was a huge line. shock. Like you're twenty minutes away from. Yeah. Wow. That's... Like um, dude, that was a yeah. curveball to me. Like <laughs> it's yeah. When I actually so this was luck that we found. I, so the way we found this location was the basement of this mall is. The original mall is underground. So mm -hmm. I wanted to do a zombie event going through the underground tunnels in this mall. And uh, the leasing agent was like, this is awesome. And the mall was like, <laughs> no, no, you're not. Um, and um, 
the leasing agent showed us this building and I, I said, I can't, we can't do that yet. We're not big enough to do that. And we looked at it after two months and we're like, Oh my God, this would be perfect. So we did. I didn't know I was the largest field on the East coast. I didn't know I was 20 minutes from New York. I didn't, I just, <laughs> like I said, we signed the lease and threw everything in and just started going. Yeah. Right. But yeah, no, we're in a huge, uh, we're in the Menlo park mall. It's a huge mall in Edison. There's okay. tons of hotels, it's a huge business center. I mean, there's all sorts of cool. Nice. Sweet. And we're next to a huge bar. <laughs> hey, Even you, better. You had yes. me a laser tag. Yes. Oh my. Yeah. All right. <laughs> awesome. Soon this quarantine's lifted. I know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, that's another trip for this year. Yeah, it's fun. And then there's a there's a couple cool. Um, there's a really cool field like uh, an hour south of us. It's not like combat, but the guy has an amazing field. Um, nice. Tennis outdoor field. It's awesome. Sweet. Sweet. Very Whoa. cool. Dang. All right. Well, I think that that is going to wrap up the interview section. Vic, if you want to like give any plugs or how people can get in touch with you, like I said, I got your info up on the stream right now so they can, oh, sure. they got their phone number and your website, but anything awesome. else you want to give, you got two minutes, uh, plug away, sir. Oh, sure. It's, it's bullseye laser tag everywhere. It's, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, um, the website. Yep. We are just an odd field we do a lot of really cool stuff uh we're putting ourselves in a position to be in a lot of locations uh really quickly with these uh type of pop-up locations but if you ever come out i can guarantee that you have a good time all we care about is the uh the customer experience it's something we we go to for uh at this point uh that's what we care about so yeah keep an eye out we're doing gunfight that's our next big thing we do walk big giant zombie events coming up in the and uh we're hopefully be a, a big deal out here in New Jersey and on the East Coast. Absolutely. Uh, right. Well, I think you guys are, are well on your way. So I wish you the best of luck. I hope I can get out there and visit you as soon as you guys are open again. Thank you right. very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I would we'll definitely have you guys out. And if you ever do come out, just let us know because we'll, uh, we'll bring out all the regulars and we'll put a big game together. Awesome. Yeah, That's absolutely. what we look for. Yeah. I, I do not mind getting my ass whipped for a good competitive game. So yeah. home field advantage is a definite thing. <laughs> Love Ooh, to yeah, see those it. Angles. Those angles. Awesome. All right, sir, awesome, you're guys. always welcome back if you ever want to talk. So just let us Thank know. You. Thanks Thank so much for coming much. by. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Everyone stay safe. All right, same Thanks to you. you too. Stay healthy. Bye. Stay safe. Stay clean. <laughs> Wash them hands. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, God, I great. broke the cameras for the next part. Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, that was cool.